Hello stampers! I'm Dina Lanzendorf at Ink and with Dink and welcome to my video. All this week on my videos I have been playing with the Rainbow Glimmer paper and it has been so much fun. It's such an awesome new product to play with and I hope you have enjoyed all the projects that I've made. So on Tuesday I made this card right here and this is the rainbow glimmer paper and I also used it to cut out the word cocktails so that was a fun project to do yesterday's cards um, were these where I use the rainbow glimmer paper to be the backs of the flowers okay in all three of these cards so that was very fun now today I'm gonna do two different cards with you also using the glimmer paper so the first one we're gonna do is this one right here. So it's just a super simple one, but it makes the rainbow glimmer paper be the focal point of the card. So we're gonna go ahead and make this one first. So to start with, we're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and a half. We're just gonna take it, fold it in half, be sure and use a bone folder, just like that. My next layer down is a piece of basic black cardstock, and this one measures five inches by three and three fourths. Now, it is a little smaller than what we normally do as our second layer, but that is just because I wanted more of the color of the card base to show. So you will see when I do this, it just leaves you more of a border around the edge like that. Now we are going to need two strips of our rainbow glimmer paper. One of them is four inches by two inches, I believe. Let me see here. Where is, we'll use this for a ruler. Yep, two inches by four inches. And the other one is four inches by one and a quarter inch. So what I'm gonna do is I just want to take them and I'm going to cut one and a half inches off of the end of both of them. So I'm just gonna push them both all up to the end. Let's go, so I know they're four, so one and a quarter will be two and three fourths, just like that. Okay, so now I am ready to position those on my card. So I'm going to start with this one here, do something like that, and then this one I'm going to flip upside down and do something like that. Ooh, I like those colors together. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere them on because there's nothing more that needs to be done to that layer. Whoops, one step. About put it on sideways. How do you like that? So we'll do that. And we'll do this one. And I have worked with this glimmer paper a lot this week. Um, and I just really love how none of the glitter comes off. And I love how easy it is to work with. It's so thin that it cuts nice, it lays nice. Just really good paper. All right, so now I'm ready for a greeting. So I am going to use this as a thank you card, and I'm going to use the Massive Thanks stamp set and use this one right here. And I like it because it fits nicely in a circle punch. So I'm just going to use my Memento Black stamp pad, ink it up, stamp it right on there like that. Then I'm going to use my one and a half inch circle punch I'm going to center that on there, punch that out just like that. Now I wanted it to pop a little bit and if you just put it on like that it kind of, I don't know, drowns. So I used my layering circle framelits, love them because they're in all different sizes, but some of the dies are just plain circles and some of them are scallop circles. So it's really nice for layering circles. So I see I just shot my card off the edge of the table. There we go. 
So I just went to the next bigger size and I did a scallop circle so that now this can layer right on there like that. So I'm just gonna use some more of my liquid adhesive. Just gonna center that on there. And I want it to pop on my card, so I'm going to use a dimensional in the middle. Now before I do that, I like the look of ribbon on it. I thought it just added a little bit of a wow. So I am using our black um, glitter organdy ribbon and I'm just going to fold it and kind of cut a piece, just guesstimating how big I want it. And then, you know, for putting ribbon, I love my tear and tape. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of my tear and tape and I'm gonna put it on the back right down here at the bottom. If you have trouble taking the backing off, sometimes if you just rub real hard on it, pushing it down to the paper, that'll give it the extra oomph it needs to uh, come off, okay? So I'm just gonna center that on there like that, take off the back of my dimensional, and I'm gonna center this on here just like that. And there you go. There is a super easy thank you card love the rainbow look of it really makes the glimmer paper um, stand out like I said is the focal point of the card so that's very fun so I was going to have that be all for today's video however I learned a new trick as I was playing with the glimmer paper and that is you can stamp on it and it looks beautiful so I made this card while I was playing so I thought yeah, we'll just extend our video a little bit and make one of these cards too. So, are you ready? I am going to change the colors of it a little bit. Move some of this other stuff out of the way. So, you are going to need a card base. And I am going to use Gorgeous Grape. And this one measures 8.5 by 5.5. So, I'm just going to go ahead, fold it in half. Oops, use my bone folder along my crease, okay? Now the next layer is just a piece of Whisper White. And on my this first sample I did, I used the Ornate Floral um, Embossing Folder. I love it, I love the look it gives. I think it is so pretty, but I wanted to try something different too. So on this next one I did, I used the Scripty embossing folder, which I love it because it's got bunches of words on it and it just looks very elegant. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my card front. You do need to make sure, peek, and make sure your words are going up since my card direction is up. And I'm just going to put that on just like that. Okay, now I'm ready to stamp on my glimmer paper. So you can see this is one I've just been using a lot, playing around with. I'm going to use my Memento black ink. I'm gonna do another jar. So I'm gonna ink it up. And I'm gonna put it, I think, up here so there's a little bit of, is that what I wanna do or do I wanna move it down here? Or I could have it go up, ooh, I like that. Okay, let's do that. Let's put it right here. So we're gonna have a little bit of blue and some purple, pink, all kinds of colors on it. And my colors are gonna go up and down now. So what I really love about this stamp set is it has a coordinating punch. So I'm just gonna stick that in there, get it centered how I want it, and punch that out. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay, so it's going to go on my card just like that. Now, I want to put a little bit of the linen thread on it. Love the linen thread. It just adds a little bit of something to your projects. So what I want to do to catch my amount is I'm just going to wrap it around here twice. Make sure I got plenty of length to tie a bow. 
and I think my easiest way is to center it. We're gonna center it on this way so that I can tie my bow in the front. So let's twirl that around like that and let's twirl that one around like that. And then let's tie a bow on here. Now, just because of how I'm doing this, the bow isn't, the uh, thing isn't tight on there, and that's okay, we don't need it to be. I just need it on there. So let's see if we can play with this a little bit to make it look a little nicer. Pull these a little tighter. There we go. So if you have a bow that's being a little persnickety, what I like to do sometimes is show it who's boss and use a glue dot. So I have some glue dots here. I am just going to take one of these. I'm just gonna take it off with my nail because I want it stuck under here. And then I can position things how I want it and stick it down, and then I know it's gonna stay, okay? Let me trim these a little bit. They're a little long. And there I have my jar with my bow on it. All right, so let's look at our flowers. So again, this stamp set I'm using is the Jar of Flowers stamp set, and I just think it is so pretty. So I want to use the stamp that has the tulips in it. I just think that's a little, um, I don't know, it's tall, so it looks good on the center of a card. Um, and I just like the flowers that are in that one. So we're just going to stamp it just like that. We're going to take a minute and we're going to color. So I just brought some different blends out so that I can just kind of figure out how I want to do this. So let's go ahead, let's do it a lot like the last one. Let's do our tulips in, what color is this? Mango Melody. So I just tried to pick some nice bright colors so that it went well with the bright colors of the glimmer paper. You know I love to color with my blends. They are my favorite coloring tool. Do just like that. Then I'm gonna take my darker and let's just kinda of highlight a little bit. So all the lines that Stampin' Up! gives us on our stamps. Like that. Looks like I colored one that really wasn't supposed to be colored, but that's all right. We're just going to go with the flow here. Then I've got some Bermuda Bay. And I just kind of picked this. I don't really know whether there's very many flowers in this color, but it matches well with my glimmer paper. So if it coordinates, we're going to call it good. Let's see, there's one there. There's one there. Okay, again, use the dark. Just kind of do a little bit of highlighting here. Okay, use my green. Let's do some of our greenery on here. It's a lot, if you kind of look through here, you can see some of the stems. So I just kind of try to color as many of those in as I can. And now let's do some of these other flowers. So I'm not real sure what a lot of these flowers are. So I'm not real sure, again, what colors they are supposed to be. But if they're colors that coordinate, we'll call it good. Then we want something a little brighter to stand in here for some of these to make them pop. All right, 
So unfortunately, there is not a die or a punch to cut out the flowers. So you are stuck fussy cutting them out or stamping them directly on your layer of your card. But if you watch very many of my videos, you know I love to fussy cut. It is my therapy. So I thought I would just take a second, cut this out for you. So that we can make it pop on our card. So while I'm doing this, I can go ahead and tell you guys about Stampin' Up's bonus days. They are still going on right now. And what that is, is that if you place an order with me for Stampin' Up! product and you hit at least $50, Stampin' Up! is going to give you a $5 coupon to use sometime in August, which is exciting because that's when the new mini catalog goes live. So it's fun to get some free stuff out of the new catalog. So I just want to kind of position that in there. Ooh, I love this in purple. So that I know approximately where I'm going to put everything. Go ahead and use my liquid glue. Now I do want to put a little bit at the top to help hold that down. Center that on there. Put a little bit of adhesive on the back of our flowers. Slide that in there. And there we go. Now I put a little tag on here that says celebrate and the little words like that on tags are great to come from Itty Bitty Greeting stamp set. Love this stamp set um, and it's really fun and easy for projects like this. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the word celebrate, ink it up, gonna stamp it. Then I want to use my classic label punch and I know that it's way too long, but I know that I'm going to have the tag hang out this way a little bit, so I want the flagged end on that side. So I'm just going to put this in my punch so that it's all the way to the right. I don't care what this looks like on the left side because I'm going to cut it short anyway. I'm gonna cut it just like that. Let's put a little bit more adhesive on here. We'll just put it on the right side there because it's going to slide up under here and needs to attach to the jar just like that, okay? So there we go. There is another fun card using the Rainbow Glimmer paper. Um, I really hope you have enjoyed this week uh, watching my videos and my Facebook Live and seeing all the fun things that you can do with the Rainbow Glimmer paper. Um, and when you are ready to purchase yours, be sure you go to dinalstamps.stampinup.net. Use my July host code. Um, when you do, if your order is at least $30, you will receive a card kit in the mail. Um, and it'll be um, early next month and it'll go out. My card kit is enough for two of each of these cards. So one of each of the cards will actually be completed for you to use as a sample. The other one will just be the consumable products for you to create another card um, on your own using your own stamp sets and ink. So again, when your order hits $30, you get this. When your order hits $50, remember that's when Stampin' Up! will pop in and we'll send you a $5 coupon to use next month on your order. So thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, please share with your friends and I will catch you next time.